news. And I think, Swinney, you're going to be big on this one, but Final Fantasy IX, the animated series, is in works. Did you want to cover this, Swinney? Yeah, it's, uh, so we've got basically, honestly, one of the most surprising news stories that in a long time for me, um, nobody would have probably ever expected this. The fact that mm. Final Fantasy nineteen, nine, sorry, nineteen, Final Fantasy nine is being turned into a kids animated series. <laughs> so we're not talking about oh, us getting anime adaptation or a CG movie, you know, like Square's done in the past. An actual kids animated series, um, and this reports come from a kids entertainment trade publication called Kid Screen. Um, and it's also been corroborated by, um, you know, the, I think there's someone on Square, uh, Square Enix's uh, social has, has um, you know, confirmed it as well. But the fact that they've also worked with this uh, studio in the past, Square Enix. So the studio is Cyber Group Studios. They're based in Paris. And, yeah, they're working with Square Enix to develop the series targeted at 8 to 13-year-old children. So Cyber Group will handle the production, distribution, the licensing, and the merchandising. Mm-hmm. Um, and they previously worked with Square on the Mini Ninjas animated series, which I didn't know was a thing. Mini Ninjas is actually a really, really cool game by IO Interactive. Um, but, yeah, they actually also had the CEO of Cyber Group um, basically saying that the goal is to begin production uh, by the end of this year or early next year. This is really, really weird, but honestly... I think could be fantastic. Obviously, it's not targeted to someone like me. It's not targeted at Final Fantasy IX fans. It's targeted to kids. But out of all the Final Fantasy games, this is one the one you do it with. Because while Final Fantasy IX does get have its serious moments, 100%, mm. its storyline and its characters can really, I think, can easily be adapted to be um, to make great yeah, a great animated series. You got Vivi, of course. Um, you know, and I think a lot of people will. That's the kind of character that people will, you know, relate to and emphasize. Especially, you know, you could teach kids really good themes around, you know, feeling like, you know, about, you know, feeling ostracized from society and stuff like that, and you know, being part of a group and you know, having friends and things. I think it's 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 a game that could be used really well for that kind of messaging it could turn out to be an absolute load of crap that is just you know just everyone's like oh that was a thing and that sucked but i think this is really really cool news so but i think it's a bit weird because it's interesting it's very telling that you said this is not for final fantasy 9 fans right Hmm. and it's like why make it then why make why use that ip for something that's not even targeted to people who like that ip well that makes no sense to me (laughs) Because the IP is well aligned to the kind of thing they want to do. They obviously, what would probably would have happened, I have no idea, is yeah. they probably reached out and they, you know, the worked with Square in the past. Like, oh, we want to, we'd like to make another game. They probably already had the idea to use Final Fantasy IX. Um, but when you look at a lot of what Square does, a lot of their other properties aren't really conducive to a kids' show. Sure. Um, and this is a this is a studio that makes nothing but kids shows. So they're obviously wanting to work on a new Square IP or use that existing relationship. It makes sense to me. Um, when I say it's not targeted at Final Fantasy IX fans, obviously there's going to be a bunch of Final Fantasy IX fans that are going to watch this, but it's not. that's not the primary audience. The primary audience is children. So, mm. and, you know, mm. I don't know about you, but most 8 to 13-year-olds probably haven't played Final Fantasy IX. So. <laughs> or don't have a very good way to play it anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's interesting. No, like, I just thought it was very strange that it's not really that big Final Fantasy IX in the... Like, I, I understand that you think it's one of the better Final Fantasy games. I haven't played it, but... um, It's my, it's my favourite, but I think it's the fact that it's the most suited is why this is being done. Mm. Yeah, definitely the most seated. Fair enough.